have a problem dealing with the least common multiple and the greatest common divisor. Now, in the Singapore Mathematical Olympiads, the GCD, which stands for greatest common divisor, is also sometimes referred to as the highest common factor. Okay, so I'll just write this. Highest common factor. And factor and divisor are synonymous with res in, when we're talking about integers. Okay, so uh, that's this is the way it appears a lot of times in like the SMO, Singapore Math Olympiad uh, competitions. Tonight we're trying to find two natural numbers. Those would be positive integers, M and N or positive integers, such that the difference between the LCM and the GCD is 387. And below here is just a direct translation of the problem. Uh, it's LCM minus the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor is equal to 387. Now we have a result from number theory that bails us out here. It's kind of hard to guess and test on this sort of problem in my opinion, but this result from number theory which says the product of the LCM and the GCD is just equal to the product of the two integers that created them. That's that's a big result. Let's look at let's look at just a concrete example. What if we chose m to be uh, let's say 21, and we'll choose n. Uh, and these are just arbitrarily chosen for simple calculations. We'll choose m equals 21 and n equals 6. Okay. Well, it's clear that the least common multiple of 21 and 6 has to be 42. 42 is the smallest number that accepts 21 and 6 as divisors. So right here under the LCM, I'm going to write 42. Okay, And also it's clear that 3 is the highest common factor of 21 and 6. 3 times 7 is 21, 2 times 3 is 6. So we call that the GCD also. So notice that this is, would be times 3 right here. And of course that's equal to what? 3 times 42 is 126. But notice that's exactly the same as 6 times 21. Okay. So this is a general result that it's pretty clear why it holds the proof that appears in any number theory book. It's fairly dry, not I would call it relatively routine, not difficult, but maybe tedious. But anyway, we're going to use that result here. Uh, we're going to rewrite this uh, statement right here as the GCD plus 87, and you can see the LCM is the GCD plus 387. So we just did a substitution right here and got this. And notice we do get a quadratic. I'm not going to go to the trouble to rename a variable. We can have a three-letter variable here for our quadratic. So the GCD squared plus 387 GCD minus MN is equal to zero. So this is certainly in quadratic form in the variable GCD. Again, I refuse to give that a separate name. Okay, so uh, now one real so-called, I guess, trivial factorization right here is split it up in these linear factors. Since a 388 minus 1 is 387, we get this factorization here. Okay, now, uh, so this would imply, uh, and again, remember this is uh, equal to zero, the whole thing's equal to zero. Okay, so one of the solutions here would imply that the GCD would be equal to 1. And remember, I'm just trying to find a single solution. I'm not saying there's only one solution, but I'm just at this point just trying to find a single solution. So if, uh, if this is equal to zero, as we've set it up here, uh, GCD could be equal to one, the GCD. And notice I put it in functional form here where it's the GCD of M and N is equal to one. Okay, now, uh, so w w where does that lead us? Well, what we can conclude, uh, well, first of all, let's write down the prime factorization or the factorization of 388. 388 is two times uh, 194. Right, two times 194 is 388. But notice 194 has a factor of two that we can take out, and so we get four times 97. Now, notice it's not possible here to take two and 194 as our solution here, as our M and N, because the GCD of two and 194 is actually uh, two, right? It's a two. But the GCD of 4 and 97 is 1, which is what we want, okay? Uh, let me just write it down up here. This, from well, I've already wrote it right here, okay? So GCD is, is 1. So if we take M to be 4 and N to be 97, okay? Or the other way around, since this is totally symmetric, okay? We have solutions to our uh, problem, right, folks? In other words, uh, the... If you go right back up here, the LCM of, of these two numbers in either order would be 4 times 97, which is um, a 384, right? 
And then, of course, the GCD is forced to be one in the case we considered. Uh, that, sorry, that's three. Yeah, this is 388. My bad. Uh, 388. 388 right here. That's 388 minus 1 is equal to 387. Again, y'all, 4 times 97. 2 times 194 is 388, and so is 4 times 97. It's just a difference in the factorization. But for this choice, the GCD is 1, okay? So the two solutions, the two solutions that I found at least, would be uh, M equals 4 and uh, N equals 297 or the other way around. Uh, you could write M is equal to 97. And N is equal to 4. Yeah, so these are the two. Uh, I found uh, you could call this the same solution if you wanted, really, in, in a manner of speaking, you know, up to permutations. But uh, but anyway, folks, I don't know if this is the only solution. This looks simple enough. Maybe there's another way to factor this around. I'm not sure uh, where you have a GCD that's not equal to 1. I liked it because GCD is equal to 1 simplifies the computations immensely. But uh, I don't know if it's unique or not, but I do know that uh, we did find the natural numbers to satisfy the condition. And I guess I can write it up here. Uh, I'll just write M equals 4 and N equals 97 up here. M equals 4, N equals 97, and again, I don't know if there's any other solutions. And of course, you can, uh, you can just, I'll do a double arrow there to indicate you can swap the assignments here. So that is a solution, and let me know if you can see any others, uh, but I thought, I thought it was kind of nice how you can relate this to just the quadratic expression and then you just seek a, a factorization that will produce a solution. And again, at this point, I'm not sure if there's any others. Okay, thanks for viewing.